Now, I agree that Shigaraki is an amazingly written character, but that doesn't mean that Mahito isn't also an amazingly written character. Now, whichever one you like more is subjective, but saying better written than Mahito by Miles kind of implies Mahito's like not well written at all. And from the discourse that I've seen online and in my own comment sections, I've seen people say that Mahito is like a bad villain or he fumbled the bag somehow because he went out crying? Are you serious? Mahito going out the way he did is what rounds him out and makes him a perfectly written villain. But maybe you missed some of the context in the series and if that's the case, I got you. Let me explain it. So Mahito would always tell Yuji that you are me, I am you, that whole thing. The reason for it being that Yuji will save people without a second thought because he's human and Mahito will kill people without a second thought because it's a curse. So they're polar opposites but like two different sides of the same coin. And the thing about Mahito that makes this interesting is that he's correct when he says this. Nothing he's saying here is a lie about his or Yuji's character. Because of this, that if you were paying attention to the series, you knew that Mahito was going to go out sad just like this. Because in season 1, when the finger bearer was fighting Yuji and almost killed him, what did Yuji do? He started panicking, crying that he does not want to die, snot running down his nose, calling himself weak the whole 9 yards. Because this was the first time in Yuji's life he was actually confronted with the idea that yeah, I'm going to die right now. So later on in the series, he does not have this fear anymore because he's already confronted it. But now let's look at Mahito, because if he and Yuji are synonymous with each other like he's been saying, that would imply that when he's on death's door, just like Yuji, he is going to cry because he does not want to die. And lo and behold, that is exactly what happens when Yuji is about to kill this man. Because up until this point, the only thing that Mahito did that Yuji didn't do was kill people. But at the same time, what Yuji experienced that Mahito didn't was confronting death. And in this moment, he is accepting that he has to kill people while he has to accept the fact that he's about to die. So long story short, Mahito going out the way that he did was perfect and that was always going to happen if you paid attention to the story. Yuji was always going to have to kill people at some point in the story because Mahito killed people and the story also told you that. But I get it, the fights in JJK are just so high level that people don't pay attention to anything else. They see hands thrown, they want to see a villain die being smug, going out cheeky. Like, th that's not the case all the time, it's just not going to be. Mahito is different from other villains because Mahito is himself, and, and that's fine. That doesn't make him a bad villain, that doesn't make him poorly written. He's one of the best written villains in the new generation. It's just that sometimes y'all gotta take a step back and look at the series for what it is more than just the fights.